Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation, family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truck truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2007 Pleasure Way Excel TS with 74,390 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2007 Pleasure Way Excel TS. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan, as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. We have 74 inches of headroom here in the main part of the coach. Got a mix of hard surface and carpet flooring. Hard surface flooring makes it easier to keep clean. We have our air conditioner here in the rear. This runs on AC power, so our shore power plug-in or our generator. We have our fantastic fan or max air fan here in the center of the coach. This runs on DC power, so our coach battery. This is going to work like an air conditioner or exhaust fan or attic fan. You can open up the windows, going to bring the cool outside air in. Going to exhaust the restroom air or the kitchen air. This is the TS version as opposed to the TD. The TD has two permanent twin sleepers. This TS here is a power sofa in the rear. Got two belts in the back, two up front, so a total of four belts. We're going to check out the sleeping area closer here in just a bit. There's easily accessible entryway. We have a fire extinguisher, some storage here in the door. There's some different light switches. You can open and close this window here. It does not have a screen. We have a curtain you can pull around this track here and block off the front or this window here for privacy. Got some storage over here. A little storage up top here in the railing as well. This is our levels test for our gray, black, fresh water and our coach battery. Do not always trust these. These are notoriously finicky. We have our water pump on off switch. This is going to pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank to your sink, shower or toilet that runs on the coach battery. Generator start stop. This is a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified own and technicians. This has 296 hours. You can start or stop this whenever you'd like. This is our water heater on off. This runs on propane. It ignites itself. Noxious gas detector, porch light switch. The Pleasure Way Excel series is very popular here at Coon Truck and RV. Seen lots of these on our YouTube channel. If you've been following us for a while. We have a stainless or aluminum backsplash here. Gonna make it easier to keep clean when you're cooking. Behind this little curtain here, we have a screen portion on the lower. Got a little spice rack. Solid surface counters. Single basin sink. Two burner propane cooktop. This is our propane furnace. Down here we have our coach battery disconnect. This is going to disconnect the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. That will also disconnect the charging systems to those coach batteries or coach battery, I should say, in this unit. There's only one. That uh, the charging systems to the coach battery are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. We have a counter flip out here. It's going to give you more counter space, AC power, plug in your coffee pot. Another AC plug in there. We have a three-way fridge freezer. It's a three-way, meaning it runs on AC power. So our shore power plug-in or our generator, DC power, meaning the coach battery or propane gas. You're going to control that via the buttons here on the front. I recommend you leave that in the auto setting. I'll do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. The DC element is meant more as a maintenance function. So when you're getting that cold, you're going to want to use your AC power or your propane. We have our water pump here. That's a winterization kit we've added here at Coon Truck and RV. Flipping around now to the driver's side. We've got a nice mirror here. Got some storage up top. A 
closet here. You can hang your jackets. The board on the right is to make up the big bed in the back. We have a table leg. There's a table mount here in the front. We have a circular table behind the driver's seat. It's also a mount in the rear. The RV tables are generic. You can go ahead and get whatever table you'd like and use it with those different floor mounts. Stepping up and into the restroom here, there's not much of a step at all. Just gonna go up and over this little thing here. This is a wet bath. So everything's gonna drain into the floor here. We have our stool. Curtain you can pull around you to help contain the water. There's some lights in here. We have a medicine cabinet here, which you can go ahead and open. You need some storage for your different goodies while you're using the bathroom. Got a window here with a vent that opens. Solid surface counters, single basin sink. Got three of these drawers here, just like so. Beneath the sink. Go ahead and tuck your soaps and things like that here while you're showering. Again, everything's going to drain the floor. Got another mirror here on the wall. Microwave. This one's on AC power, so our shore power plug-in or our generator. Air conditioner overhead is controlled with the knobs on the unit itself. We have our propane furnace that's controlled via the thermostat over here. We have a light switch for some of the rear lights with a dimmer. There's also lights in the back here. You can turn on and off with the switches on the lights themselves. So our TS here has a power sofa. You can push the button right over here and run that power sofa up and down. We have windows here on the driver and passenger side with vents in the lower. Allow you get some good cross breeze, privacy curtains in the back. So run the power sofa down. You can move these little cushions here to make up the big bed. These are just little pillows. I'm gonna go and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The base of the sofa in the upright position measures approximately 20 inches north-south and 80 and a half inches east-west from wall to wall. The twin beds measure approximately 72 inches north-south or front to back and 26 inches east-west or side to side on the driver's side and just a little shorter at 70 inches north-south on the passenger's side. The big bed measures approximately 66 to 72 inches north-south or front to back and 80 and a half inches east-west from wall to wall. Beneath the sofa along the floor we have the electrical panel with the AC breakers and DC fuses, an AC outlet, and a noxious gas detector. We are sitting in the back of this 2007 Pleasure Way Excel TS. How did the owl manage his bad breath? Owl toids. We have our TV here, our DVD player, and a switch to turn the TV on and off. We have different power connectivity options here behind the TV. You can swivel this out to face the front. Both of the front seats do swivel. However, the passenger seat's going to get a better position due to the driver's seat having the steering wheel and that cabinet behind it. We have an inverter back here, DC power and AC power. The inverter is going to invert the DC power to AC power. So you can watch TV from the coach batteries, plug in your laptop, charge your phone, different things like that. Got a small little storage spot up there. Really clean interior on this pleasure way. The exterior is very nice as well. Got our manuals there. So all in all, we have a super nice specimen here in this 2007 Pleasure Way Excel TS. Got a TV antenna here, you can crank that up and down. You do not want to drive around with that up. Again, really nice specimen here. Had somebody stop in the other day and see this before it was advertised. They said, oh, is this a brand new camper van here? And I said, no, this is a 2007. And they were shocked. Really good looking on the outside, really good looking on the inside. I'm gonna call this a nine out of 10. Got a couple tiny little gouges on the floor. Very minor blemishes on the outside. This is a really nice looking RV. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, and CD player. We have nice clean upholstery. Some different spots there for your stuff. 
There's no cigarette lighter. Not seeing any signs of smoking. I'm gonna call this a non-smoker. Another DC spot here. You can plug in your phone, your GPS, whatever you'd like to do while you are heading off on your Pleasure Way adventure. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2007 Pleasure Way Excel TS. This camper van measures 20 feet, six inches bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 4021 date codes. This Pleasure Way is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 5.4 liter V8 engine with 74,390 miles. Got a really nice looking exterior on this one. Stripes look very good. Exterior paint has a lot of shine left on it. We have actual alloy rims. A couple little plumbages there where you step up and into the van. Nice easy access into the coach. This is the back of our refrigerator. Furnace exhaust for our propane furnace. We have our coach battery here. These are two AC plug-ins, so you can plug things in here beneath the awning. And some storage here in the back, shore power cord. We have a 30 amp service on this. Coming around to the back, we have a tow package. A little bit of age on the pleasure weight decal here on the rear door. Air conditioners up top. Got some storage here in the back beneath the sofa. Coming around to the driver's side. Got a small little blemish right there that might buff out that may too. Have the guys try hitting that again. Got a fill for our onboard fresh water tank. It's gonna travel wherever the RV goes. The back of the propane water heater, some storage, some goodies there. This is for the sewer hose. Usually does not get used. It's difficult to put it in there. Closer look at everything here on this unit. It's our TV antenna up here. Outside shower, thanks for kids, pets, going to the beach, going on a hike, keep your mess outside of the camper. This is the fill for the fuel tank. This will run the engine and the generator down to around a quarter tank. The generator will stop running then, so you will not be able to strand yourself. We have our city water here. This is where your hose is gonna come in. This is for our sewer drains. We have our black and our gray. You're gonna do the black first and then the gray. Everything's gonna come out of this hole. We have our cable TV, everything in there. We have our propane tank. This is mounted to the unit. So you have to travel somewhere to have this filled. We have a gauge for that. Here's a valve. You can turn that on and off here at the tank. This is where our shore power is going to connect to the camper van. This is a 30 amp service. We have our generator here, generator exhaust. You can start and stop that whenever you'd like while you're driving. Really any time. And close up at the exterior. Really nice looking pleasure way here. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers.